My name is Boots Allen and the fly I'm tying for you today is the Quad Bunny. And this is a fly that builds on the success of Scott Sanchez's Double Bunny, one of the best streamers I've ever used. I started using this fly, um, started tying it really back in about 2001, 2002, and uh, using it primarily for Tymon and Linux and uh, Pike in Eurasia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Russia and have since began using it uh, on our trout streams here in the American West and uh, I've also tossed it a bit to sea run brown trout in um, Argentina down in Tierra del Fuego. The hook I use is a uh, Mustad 34011. This is a uh, uh, saltwater hook and I find it to be um, probably the best hook I can use for this. Um, however, Gamakatsu of course makes, makes good hooks uh, for this as well. I've pre-threaded onto this a, uh, um, a cone head and a bead head. I'm going to be using two. Um, the material saturation alone is enough to really get this down. I tend to fish it with a sink tip as well, so um, uh, this might add more of an aesthetic value to it than anything else. So place that in that vise there, and we will get going. I'm going to use a dark monocord. Typically black, this is more of a brown. It uh, won't really matter because the thread won't be showing up too, too well. I'll be wrapping this all the way back from the start of the hook at the eye where the bead and cone are and wrapping it all the way back to right about there. And I'm going to go with a black top of magnum hair and using on the bottom of that an olive, basically. And it's just that classic light on top of dark that uh, we typically see with, with flies such as this. Give this a clip real fast. Measuring out the length, this is going to come right up to the eye or right up to the, the bead. I'll we'll shorten that up to maybe do it right about like that. So that's the length I'm going to be looking at for the black. And I'll do the same for the olive, but instead of measuring it like that, I'll just use my black bunny hair to do that. Measuring that out, that's about the same length. There we go. First thing we do is we're going to thread this on to the hook. Wrap that thread back a ways. I'll be popping this out. One thing you can do is use a little hole punch tool uh, to get through the rabbit hair. That's what Scott Sanchez does a lot. But just as easily, you can also just thread that right onto the hook like so. Just pop it right in there. And that's almost centered. And that's where it's about where I'm going to have it. Kaboom. Okay, let me slip that one back off now. And I'll pop the green back on through there now. About the same distance. That's the green. And you can thread the black on and then the green. The other way you can do it is just tie the black right onto the hook. That's how we're going to do this one today. So I'll pop that back on there. And now I'm going to wrap that thread back again. Right about to where the bend starts. And that's where I will tie this rabbit fur on. So this is going to be your bottom one. I call this the underbody. Um, Scott has sometimes in some books have just called this the lower wing, and this would be the upper wing. I call it an overbody and an underbody. So right there. And you gotta get all that material out of the way or as much of it as possible at least. Now that is basically how you would start a double bunny. But this is going to be a quad bunny. And what it is, is instead of two strips of rabbit hair, I'm going to be using four. These were magnum strips that we used. These are basically your regular 
strips of bunny hair. These are basically your, your regular forms of bunny hair and we're going to use these basically for the flanks and they're going to be the lateral line of this quad bunny. And that's how it got its name. It uses four strips of bunny hair as opposed to um, two. The original double bunny only used uh, flashaboo accent along the sides for, um, for the lateral line. I like using this because it does create a pulsating effect to it, and much the same as the, uh, the overbody and the underbody. I'm going to roll this to me just like that. I did this okay. Yep. What I've done is I've tied this hair in like so, this bunny fur. Kind of with it the skin part actually facing out because then I'll just wrap that over and uh, it won't create a big bulge there if you would if you were to just start uh, wrapping it without that. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side here, basically. And I'm going to roll that right on back to the, right on back to the base of where the rest of the bunny fur is. Now let me take the thread forward and the first strips to be pulled forward are going to be the lateral line sections, so the orange ones. And that'll be pulled forward right to there and tied down. And then trim the excess, what we typically call the butt section. And now the next piece will be brought forward. So those are your lateral lines right there. Now let's pull forward the top hair. Adjust this just a bit. Now I'll pull forward this overbody. That will be tied down. And that gets trimmed as well. And then the underbody will get tied on there. So that creates the body. Now I'm going to go ahead and just trim up all of these pieces in here and make it a little bit cleaner and then I'm going to create a collar. Get this right on down. This collar is going to be made of peacock curl. And the peacock curl um, is going to be used kind of to create almost a gill section. Uh, but also what it does, it serves a function of actually covering up all this mess that we just created. Many of these 
as possible. I'm going to use a total of typically three to four. We use four here. And I like doing the tips as opposed to the butt sections. The butt sections start to lose as it gets down there. They begin to lose a lot of this iridescent uh, micro microfibers there on this. So right to there, I'm going to just wrap this on forward. Bring it back a wee bit and then forward again. Kaboom. Give that a snip. And then you can either whip finish this, or you can half hitch it however you wish. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick whip finish. Nothing too major. And that's almost the quad bunny. There's one other thing we need now here. We need to marry these two pieces here the, up, the uh, underbody and the overbody. And to do that, I'm going to use this product. This is called Terramender. And uh, Scott Sanchez is the one that turned me on to this. Scott knows a lot about adhesives because he uses them all the time. Prior to getting turned on to um, Terramender, I was basically using super glue, which married it very, very well, but it really made that tail stiff. Terramender, however, lets it be very, very flexible. And let me show you something. You get this on your fingers, like that. Roll it, and it comes right off. So it's fantastic stuff for that. A lot less messy than super glue. I'm just going to do one side of this, perhaps the, uh, the upper piece. can see it. You don't need a whole bunch. Something like that is all you need. And then you just squeeze these two together and they are adhered. So that's your quad bunny. And uh, it's been a very, very uh, successful fly for me um, all throughout Central Asia and uh, some other big species such as the sea run brown trout and I'm using a lot for trout in here in the American West. That's that.